I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel if you're new watching this video make sure you hit the subscribe button we are on our way to 9.5 thousand of you which is absolutely insane so if you haven't subscribed make sure you do I would really appreciate it and I love you guys so much so yeah if you haven't subscribed make sure you do in today's video I'm going to be going through my September favorites now I say this every month, I cannot believe that the month's over, it's been and gone, we are on our way to October, I love Halloween, I'm all for it, but I still can't believe that September has been and gone, I've had a really good month, there's been nothing this month that's really been a negative vibe, if you know what I mean, so I've had a very good month, I've done quite a bit, and I think there's quite a few things I want to share with you in terms of what I've loved this month, so without further ado, grab yourselves a drink or a snack or both, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first favourite I want to share with you is actually something I did in September, and that is I went to go and see McFly play for the first time ever in Cardiff with my friends Becky and Becky, very confusing, double Beckys gets me quite confused, um, but yeah, we went to Cardiff, we saw them together it was absolutely amazing I have never seen McFly play before and considering that I've been listening to them since about 2004 I think that's when they first started 2003 2004 um, it was amazing it honestly brought back so many childhood memories we had front row it was just an all-round great day and I'm very much the sort of person I love going to gigs I go to gigs really really frequently especially before you know the big C word. Um, I went to gigs a lot and I had the most amazing time going back to a gig. It was just unreal and it just was, it just felt a little bit more normal and it was incredible. So thank you so much Becky and Becky if you're watching for an amazing day and if any of you guys went to see McFly let me know, let me know what you thought of the gig and yeah it was amazing. I had an incredible time and I just it was great so definite favorite of mine for this month seeing McFly was just a 10 out of 10 moving on to makeup favorites I don't have very much to share with you in terms of makeup there's only really one thing that has stood out to me this month that I've been really really enjoying and that has been the Mana Manani Milani baked blush in Coralina which is a really lovely beautiful coral color hence the name it's a really stunning coral shimmery pink and I do have it on today it's not overly powering overly powering it's not overpowering I can't get my words out today it's not an overpowering blush at all and it's a really lovely beautiful blendable kind of formula I guess it's really really good I really love this I have had it for probably a little bit too long it is probably something that I should repurchase and throw away this one of but I do absolutely love it I do believe you can get Milani in boots now which is great because it used to be I think an American-y brand only situation but I really love this if you guys haven't tried this I would highly highly suggest it it's just such a beautiful blush and it's so blendable and natural looking and I really love it so yeah love this Coralina or Coralina 10 out of 10, love it. Next up we have a hair care product. This is something that's so simple, so affordable, and it's just something that I have been using over the past few months, and I absolutely love it, and I keep forgetting to put it in my favorites videos, so I'm gonna talk to you about it now, and that is the Organic Coconut Oil. Now, I have used this many a time. I absolutely love putting coconut oil on my hair. I have very dry, very, brittle hair. I have curly hair which means it instantly is more dry anyway, it's more prone to breakage and it just doesn't really grow very quick whatsoever. I mean I had my hair cut to here back in 2018 so it just doesn't really grow. I don't know if there's a specific reason or if it's genetics or what, I have no idea but yeah my hair doesn't grow but I do like to look after it as much as possible and coconut oil is something which I cannot recommend enough because it's so affordable, so easy to use and it makes my hair feel incredible. So if you've not tried coconut oil for your hair, highly recommend it. I just put a little bit in a bowl, melt it in the microwave for a few seconds, slather it all over, beautiful. Love it. The next item is a self tan. Now, I'm not the sort of person that has a self tan routine. I don't continuously self tan. I kind of feel like I should because I do feel a lot more confident when I'm tan, but I I'm gonna be honest, I can't be bothered, so I don't do it. However, I did use this for my cousin's wedding this month, and 
This self tanner has been a really, really great godsend because you don't have to wash it off. It's something you can put on, you can leave it to dry, you put your clothes on and you're ready to go out the door and it's so quick, easy. Something that's right up my street. I'm just very lazy when it comes to self tan. I don't have the time to get in the shower, exfoliate, get out the shower, put my tan on, then get back in the shower. Like, I'm just not, I can't do it. So this is amazing this is the bondi sands aero liquid gold self tanning foam i have been absolutely obsessed with this i got this from superdrug however you can get this from bnm as well for like half the price which is brilliant i mean it is good but not when you pay full price for it in the first place do you know what i mean um but yeah definitely a really good product this is probably my favorite self tanner that i've used and i love the tanology one or tanologist one i love my like Saint Tropez watermelon one I love that but I just cannot be bothered to get in the shower to wash it off so stuff like this really good for me really good for us lazy people out there that just can't be bothered and it just leaves you with a, just a beautiful natural golden tan and I just love it so yeah I cannot rave about this enough it's so so good so easy so quick drying as well and it's amazing and it is a foam product too so love it so good so next up moving on to all of my lush favorites the first item is something which if you guys saw my haul video you would have seen me be incredibly excited about this product and i am still incredibly in love with it it's such a beautiful product this is the trick or treat lip scrub now i have not used a lush lip scrub so frequently ever since this one this one i have been obsessed with and it smells like lime it's like lime fruit pastels, lime jelly, like pure lime. However, when you taste it, I'm going to have to taste some. It's like a sour lime. It's it's just so good. Like, I can't even describe to you like how much I want to just eat the whole thing. It's so yummy. So good. And I love the texture of it. Some of the Lush Lip Scrubs have like a... I don't know how you would describe it, it's a very thick, like, hard to use texture, whereas this one is a really sort of loose sugar scrub, I hope that makes sense. If you guys use a lot of the lip scrubs you'll know what I mean, but some of them are quite hard. This one is not. This one is beautiful, I love this so much. If you haven't picked this up, I promise you, it's the most delicious thing you will ever have and I recommend it so, so much. And I don't know what the ingredients are that make it kind of sour, but it has castor sugar, jojoba oil, lime oil, cornstarch. It has something called malic acid. Maybe that's what makes it sour, but it's vegan, it's amazing, it tastes so good, and I highly recommend it. And I think it was about five or six pounds, so delicious. Next up is a product which I definitely have mentioned before, but it is something that I am continuously using, and that is the Lime Bounty Body Butter. Now, Ryan actually picked this up for me when he did my Lush haul. If you've not seen that video, make sure you check it out. But this is a beautiful body lotion. It smells amazing. Very similar to the lip scrub in that it's got a very lime fragrance. Obviously, as you can see, I've used about half of it. I just love this product so, so much. It's so rich, so creamy. I... If I'm being honest, I'm not a massive body lotion kind of gal. I just, I, again, I can't really be bothered with it. But this is something that I am trying to continuously use, especially on my legs after a shower. And it just smells so, so good. And ingredients-wise in this one, you've got olive oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, kabuchi butter, lime oil, lemon myrtle oil. So it's very lemony, limey, citrusy, deliciousness, and amazing. The only thing about this product that I didn't like is the, like, shea butter shavings on the top like I do think for like aesthetics wise it's great but actual use it's just a bit I don't know I didn't like it so much so I used all of that first and then I kind of went on to using the lotion as it is it's just amazing honestly and it's a beautiful lime green color so yeah 10 out of 10 love this definitely amazing and it is an all-year-rounder so you can go and pick that up now and it's incredible my next lush favorite has been the rennie's or renee's shea souffle hair and scalp oil now apart from today i've actually been wearing my hair natural pretty much every single day i haven't put much heat on it at all and i have been really trying to look after my hair the only reason i did it today was just because i was in a little bit of a rush and i washed it this morning and it was just quicker to run the hair dry through it and then put a few curls in it then let it dry naturally if you know what I mean but this is a beautiful product this reminds me of the revive hair moisturizer but in more of a solid form now if I show you what this looks like it looks like this now it doesn't look like I've used any because 
when I use it I try and use it in a roundwood motion so it stays flat but this is a solid hair oil so it's very solid I can do this with it and it doesn't come out um, and it's just really really lovely it's a very rich oil it's almost like a it's like a solid serum if you know what I mean like I can melt it in my fingers I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's beautiful I use it on dry hair I use it on wet hair it's just absolutely amazing and scent wise it just smells very similar to R&B actually or Revive should I say they've changed the name but very very similar and ingredients wise this one has shea butter coconut oil avocado oil cast oil almond oil bay oil jasmine absolute tangerine oil and tonka absolute but it smells amazing it does amazing things if your hair is dry wonderful really love that and last but by no means least is the happy skin kitchen exclusive facial exfoliator now a few things with this the first thing obviously you can't buy it so i do apologize it was in the kitchen box but i have been really loving it however i absolutely hate the smell the smell to me is gross i think it's the saffron it also has bamboo stem extract olive oil rosehip oil pineapple juice jackfruit juice sesame seed absolute and vanilla but for me the smell just oh I absolutely hate the smell I really do it smells I think it is the saffron but to me it just smells like plastic like a really gross play-doh but oh god I've got that on my face yeah the smell no but the product so so good it's an exfoliator it is the most fine and gentle exfoliator i have ever used on my skin and it just makes my skin feel so beautifully soft and clean and i just love it like i said the only thing i hate is the smell it is a shame that i don't like the smell but you kind of get over it because it doesn't last on the skin if that makes sense so once you wash it off you can't smell it anymore but this is a beautiful product i really hope that they bring it out it reminds me of that smuggler's soul one that they used to have which was absolutely delicious but yeah this is amazing i really really like it i just absolutely hate the smell so it's 50 50 i love it but if it smelled like plum rain maybe i would love it even more but yeah beautiful so that is everything for my september favorites i really hope you guys did enjoy this video obviously don't forget to let me know down below what you've been loving this month i reply to every single comment so leave me a comment down below letting me know what you've been loving and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye guys